Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today and we are going to be taking a look at another entry in the Beyond Skyrim mod series. This one is Ross Kreia. Now this is obviously incredibly exciting because we are coming off of that mwah, beautiful masterpiece known as Beyond Skyrim Bruma and so naturally it's exciting to see more from the Beyond Skyrim project. With that said, this is early development footage, we don't have a release date so don't get too hyped but still I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know about this mod and also provide some information because for me personally, I'm not saying everyone out there is like me, but when I heard Ross Kreia, I was like, what is this place? So I started to do some research and it turns out this is a pretty interesting setting because the goal for this mod is to create somewhere alien and new. Much like Beyond Skyrim Bruma, they want to channel yet again that feeling of being somewhere truly foreign and I think Ross Kreia is a great place to do that in. So I was looking at the Elder Scrolls wiki, that's obviously the best place for information, and it says that Ross Kreia is an island conquered by Uriel Septon V in the Third Era, and was the first of the Forgotten Islands to become a part of the Empire. It's north of Skyrim and close to the ancient land of Atmora. This land shares many of its geographic features, with both places and the Imperial Navy discovered a semi-frozen land dotted with pine trees and natural ice rivers. So, one of the things I saw in the comments, and it was just one comment that was highly rated, was that this area, Ross Kreia, looks a little too much like Skyrim in the mod, but obviously, as we can look at the description here in the Wikipedia, that is accurate to what this island actually is. When the ships moored on the coast of Ross Kreia, they discovered tribes of unnaturally pale humans that were at least astonishing heights of seven feet for the adults. Decorated with intricate tattoos and herding livestock, the Legion was surprised to find that they spoke ancient Nordic. Luckily, among the men, there were a few of Nord stock that were able to converse with these natives, but they had no name for the people and merely allowed the Empire to occupy their land, fascinated by the superior weapons and armors the soldier wore. Because of this, scholars deduce that the tribes are descended from the mating of ancient Atmorians and giants, explaining their primitive sentience. During the Akavir campaign, the Atmorians, what the men began to call them, were slowly taught Tamrielic and basic academics and submitted to imperial authority. So a really interesting backstory, if you want a actual historical comparison, this kind of sounds like the pilgrims and the Native Americans. The idea of two vastly different groups of people combining and sharing their ideas with each other to ensure survival. So I like the lore presented up front with this island. I like how obscure it is because I know this will serve the hardcore Elder Scrolls fan base who really wants to continue expanding and learning more. And it's also worth mentioning that Solitude, one of the major cities in Skyrim actually annexed this island so it's interesting to see how the modders will be developing this lore from this point going forward. So there's a cool universe to play with here, and I think there's the potential there. Just don't be misled by the fact that some of the assets, at least up front right now, look a little bit like just Skyrim. Because as I said, that's kind of the point of it. And I have full confidence, especially after Bruma, that we'll see plenty of new assets to really make this place feel foreign. So that'll do it for me, people. I hope you are excited for the Ross Kreia mod. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, as well as checking out the link in the description down below for this mod. They are looking for more people to help them create it and do consider supporting my Patreon. It helps fuel all the content we create here. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.